The risk of continued seizures in children after a child has tried more than two anti-epileptic drugs is that the likelihood of having the next medication, whether monotherapy or polytherapy, multiple medication, controlling seizures is going to be less than 5%. So with continued seizures being on medication, there's also the risk of the neurodevelopmental cost. The child may not be learning as well, the limitations of having uh, epilepsy may impact their psychosocial interactions with families and other peers. And there's also the risk of continuing on anti-epileptic drugs that are not helpful. In general, there, there's a diverse uh, cause for epilepsy that begins in childhood. In uh, adult patients um, with focal epilepsy, the most common cause or the most common seizure type is temporal lobe seizures. In uh, children, the most common cause that are eligible for epilepsy surgery is due to malformations of cortical development. So these are congenital malformations. Some of them could be very subtle and difficult to detect on uh, anatomic MRI. These, are, uh, they could be, these could be very focal, called focal cortical dysplasias, or they could be very uh, diffuse or big, involving an entire hemisphere. The other difference in uh, children is that the uh, children's epilepsy may present very differently. Some kids may present with epileptic spasms where the EEG does not show a very nice focus, but rather a more regional abnormality, or there's no uh, way to see where the seizure focus is coming from, even though the, the other uh, imaging modalities may suggest that there is a single focus that may be amendable for surgery. I, th I think um, it, it is always very important that I set the stage to acknowledge the parents' fears. It's a big deal to talk about brain surgery. I want to emphasize that uh, surgery is, is not the last option uh, for kids who start having seizures, particularly in those kids who have an MRI abnormality or those kids who start having seizures at less than three years of age. We can have great impact on the uh, immediate control of uh, seizures if epilepsy surgery is an appropriate option. We can have a significant impact on neurodevelopment um, in those patients where seizures can be much better controlled. There's um, actually more neuroplasticity in children, and so that's part of the reason why um, it's important to consider bringing kids early because of the neuroplasticity. Um, language development may uh, switch uh, from one hemisphere to the other, or, um, and so, in fact, we, we want to consider surgery early on in children so that um, some of the deficits that we can see adults can uh, continue uh, or are, are, are more likely to be uh, uh, remediable or rehabilitated in kids.